Python on Hardware News. It's the blinket time. We are up to... RC0, I think. Release candidate, yeah, zero. We're getting so close to release. We're still so, squishing bugs. If you have a project, please try out RC0 because it's a release candidate. We think we're done. And if you find bugs, let us know as soon as possible. We want to squish them all before we go to the final release of 6.0. Yeah. Um, this week in the newsletter, which you can get for free, it's the uh, biggest... Python on Hardware newsletter out there, and uh, it's at adafruitdaily.com because we don't want you to ever think we would take your email address and do anything with it. You go to adafruitdaily.com, subscribe anytime. Um, it's We make it very hard for us to email you because yeah. we don't like spam. So anyways, okay. uh, go there. There's about 8,000 people who have signed up, and uh, we send this out every week. Okay. So um, the Raspberry Pi 400 is out. That's why I'm wearing the shirt. And we will have more information about that during... This show because it's a new product of the week. We added Blinka to it. Yeah, you'll be able to do that. Um, ULab, which is if you're familiar with NumPy, yeah, it is for Circuit Python. So there is a new version of it. We did a lot of work with it. Um, the author has been amazing. It's been so great. Um, there's a lot of projects that really needed FFT calculations are just fast number crunching, and ULab does the job great. It's it fills in a very specific niche. Um, very well. So great work. A lot of people use Python and Visual Studio. So there is a code update. You can check it out. You can get the extension. And there is a bunch of issues that they fixed and more. Um, we linked to the blog that you can get all the latest information about the updates. Joey's um, e-paper, uh, like you know, DIY open source Kindle, now supports Grayscale because CircuitPython supports Grayscale. Yay! So um, that's cool. And then this is really neat. Go to slappy.io. It's a really neat online editor. It's kind of like an online version of Moo. I just love the name. Slappy. slappy. Like, you know, you're like, I'm going to go slap it up. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. Yeah. Slappy.io. Yeah. Um, so uh, check it out. And uh, you just plug in your device. Easy to use. You load CircuitPython as your favorite Adafruit device on just about any computer. And uh, they're looking for feedback and more, so check it out. Um, works with Chromebooks. I think that's the main target as well. We also link to their Twitter account if you want to give them feedback real time on the Twitters. Uh, Joey made a circuit Python sensor ring. Um, Adafruit had some uh, good ink. Uh, both Make and Hackster um, talked about the Adafruit Cutie Pie board. They liked it. Yeah. Yay, I'm loved. Scott has a deep dive every single week. This next week is coming up on Friday. Uh, last week he did the ESP. 32s2 polish. Um, here's Blinka. It's time for um, you know Thanksgiving. Here's a cornucopia of uh, updates. There's and a more. snake in my gourds. Yeah, and then uh, we have the usual bits of news and more that we collect. If it's Python on hardware, we probably talk about it. Or like data science, Maybe it's machine learning, feather shape. Yeah, yeah um, as we talked about on the show and tell, Pi Game 2.0 is out. Uh, Foamy guy Tim did some neat stuff, and uh, you know what's interesting is there was some Python. Um, code and uh, it was 538 The Economist how they predicted um, how the election would go so they, they predicted this this came out uh, yesterday so they predicted Biden 312 Trump 226 I don't so, know if I believe the Dakotas well I don't think you can believe anything right uh, now so just we Dakotas, all gotta wait right. what? hopefully that's a Dakota one yeah, yeah. we'll see um, but anyways it's kind of neat if you do any type of data science it's one of the things that you can do um, then more news around the web and um, check out the libraries that we have. We are up to 279. And as always, you can look at our staff updates, all the things that we're doing so cute. in the world of Python. Lots of hardware. virtual events, too. So if you've always There's wanted to go to bunch. Python conferences and you haven't been able to, you can now. So that is Python on Hardware News for this week.